Chair Powell, did the Fed staff put a recession back into the baseline forecast uh, in the materials for today's meeting? And how much does this tightening in financial conditions substitute for rate hikes if the tightening is persistent? You had said it was worth maybe a quarter point when we had the bank failures in the spring. What is it here on something that's presumably more straightforward and more familiar to simulate? So I guess uh, I don't want to answer your question about the um, about the recession, but the answer is no. I think I have to answer it since we since we did uh, publicly say in the minutes you'll you'll know anyway in the minutes the, the staff did not put a recession back in. Uh, I mean it would be hard to see how you would do that if you look at the um, look at the activity we've seen recently, uh, which is not really indicative of, of a recession in the near term. In terms of um, how to think about translation into uh, rate hikes, I think it's. It's just too early to be doing that. And the main reason is we just don't know how persistent this will be. You can see how volatile it is. Different kinds of news will affect the level of rates. And I think any kind of an estimate that was you know, precise would hang out there and have a great chance of looking wrong very quickly. So I think what we can say is that financial conditions have, have clearly tightened. And you can see that in the rates that, that consumers and, house, and households and businesses are paying now. And over time, that will have an effect. We just don't know how persistent it's going to be, and, and it's tough to try to translate that in a way that I'd be comfortable communicating into uh, how many rate hikes that is. If I could follow up, I guess what makes you confident that tighter, what makes you confident that tighter financial conditions will slow above trend growth when 500 basis points of rate hikes, QT, and a minor banking crisis have not thus far? Well, I just that that's. Uh, uh, you know, the way our policy works is, and sometimes it works with lags, of course, which can be long and variable, but ultimately, if you, if you raise the, the, you know, raise interest rates, you do see uh, the, those effects, and you see those effects in the economy now. You see what's happening in the housing market. You're seeing that now. You're, you'll see, uh, if you look at surveys uh, of people, it's not a good time, they think, to buy durable goods of various kinds because rates are so high now. Uh, I mentioned, again, we're, we're getting reports from housing that the effects of this, of this could be quite significant. But you're right. The, this has been a resilient economy, and it's, I think, been surprising in its resilience, and there are, there are a number of possible reasons why that may be. Um, our job is to, is, to, is to achieve maximum employment and price stability, and so we take the economy as it comes. It has been resilient, uh, so we just uh, we take it as it is.